Happy Friday night. Happy Friday night. Hi, guys. The squirrels may have won the battle, but we are going to win the war. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, guys. Welcome back to the Jane and Zidja show. This is a live stream on a Friday night. We haven't done this in quite a while. And uh, I don't know. It feels good. It feels good to be back in the saddle in the evening. Yeah, we used to do evenings. We did them quite a lot. All the time. Yeah, especially when I, I had to be in the office. Later, we'd come home, we'd have the sun pouring into the room, we'd sit and do a live stream, but nope, we haven't done that in a while. I'm so just, I'm happy that we're, we're able to get a lot of people that aren't able to make mornings. Yeah. So this is great. Yeah. We do try to move the streams around as much as we can. Um, and you know what? We, we had a big opening this evening. <laughs> <laughs> So hopefully the squirrels are fat and happy. Um, it's pretty windy out there, so you know us and our bad internet. Bear with us, everybody. We're going to do it again. We're going to have some fun. We are going to do questions. We are going to do some polls. I did work show on the everyone, blanket. Show everyone the blanket. All day. This is upside down. Hang on. This. Look at this. Look at this. So pretty. I've got one more strip I'm going to add. So I've got nine strips here. I'm going to do an even ten. And then I'm going to put on a border. Uh, a lot of you were asking about so if we were going to have a written pattern available for this with um, you know, the photos and the whole nine yards. Yes, absolutely. I'm going to try and get that up into the shop this weekend. So if you were looking for a completed written pattern with better photos, obviously, than <laughs> what you can see through our shoddy internet, then yes, my aim is to have this written up and up in our Etsy shop this weekend. So. Um, Good things willing, that's what's going to happen. And in the meantime, oh, this is just. It I'm looks like... seeing so many familiar names that that we don't usually see in the mornings. So this is really exciting. We're hanging with the night owls. Yeah, this is the evening crew. The evening crew. Mm -hmm. the, the afternoon crowd. <laughs> awesome. All right, I am just going to get my last strip started here before we start yakking and chatting. I got another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um. For anybody who's curious, <laughs> I'm using the seashell stitch. This is the uh, the June MMAM strip uh, that we did a couple weeks ago. So I'm doing 38 rows of this with a size five millimeter hook. So a half size smaller than the hook I use for the mighty mile a minute blanket. And I'm using a size three, four lightweight, medium weight yarn in a couple of different colors. And I'm just making a baby blanket. And uh, this is hopefully gonna be the last strip. And then I'm going to put on a border. So I'm going to get charging along here. And, uh, oh, we should just do a little tech check. That's probably a good idea. Oh. See, we didn't do a tech check today. Yes, that's why the squirrels got the, upset the squirrels with that. They don't, they like, don't it. like it when you change the routine. When you change on the routine. They're, like, they're like cats. <laughs> they are. Aw. Yes, they don't like it when the routine is changed. <laughs> um, tech check. Tech yes. check. Let us so, know how our video and... Sound as long as I'm not an orange blob, uh, I know I'm wearing a lot of orange here, but as long as I'm not an orange blob, you can sort of somewhat see me. Not that like, you know, perfect vi view is, is really all that important because we're just going to be hanging out, asking some silly questions. Uh, we got so many people that are able to view our live stream this afternoon so uh, from all over that. the place. I guess um, it fits for a lot of schedules out there. We have a lot of viewers from Australia. Hey, yes, it's uh, so they're um, not sleeping right morning now. Morning there. Is it's it early about morning? Thirty. Let us know <laughs> in the chat. I'm curious. What time is it there? Nay, are you are you there? Nay's in New Zealand. <laughs> so uh, make sure you vote on the first poll of the oh, of yes. the the evening of the poll. This poll is <laughs> um, it's so important. It, this is a really important poll. <laughs> This will dictate like the rest of the year, <laughs> the rest of the year's schedule. The rest of the oh really? Here Did you the change Jade, the poll? Here at the Jade and Stitches show, <laughs> we have 101 votes so far. Hey, all right. Oh, I love the new poll feature. It is so much fun. <laughs> Loud and clear right. from in Washington State says Sherry. Loud and clear. Good okay. evening here from the UK. It's 11.30 p.m. Ooh, That's from Dawn. Late night on a Friday. Hello from Michigan. 6.35 p.m. 6.35. Um, from o Oz. 8.30 a.m. 8.30 so a.m. Is Oz, is that short that's for Australia, Australia mm -hmm. or for New Zealand? No. Is that news? That's that. What's, <laughs> uh, what's New Zealand's news? <laughs> Aussies are... Oz, America, of course. Are, are Australians, yeah, yeah, yeah. and Kiwis are New Zealanders. Oh, I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. I knew that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. 
We're getting uh, everyone from everywhere. This Great. is fantastic. New Zealand, Vicky says, 10.30 a.m. 10.30 a.m. Oh, all right. Ah. So happy Saturday morning. Those of you who have already launched into your weekend, happy <laughs> Friday evening. Those of you who are kind of settling in for the beginning of the weekend, uh, I hope you've got a work in progress in front of you. We are just going to hang out. We are going to chat. We're going to have a little fun. We're going to ask some zany questions. And so you can sort of shout it out in your in your room or type it into the chat or enter a comment down below, however you want to do it, or just sort of sit and enjoy the uh, the ridiculous answers as they come in. This is great. Thanks for sharing, everyone, where you're from and yeah. what time it is. That's, that's really neat. Marvelous. I'm um, loud and clear from Hawaii. Oh, wow. Ha, 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 Hawaii. So that's good. Our tech check is... Is good. I'm going to sit with my feet in the surf. It sounds so nice. Perfect. Okay. Well, then while I work on the last strip of my little mini, mighty, mile a minute baby blanket, let's jump into a zany question. Are you ready? Well, first of all, our our poll, our, our first are, are poll of the evening the was uh, zany. <laughs> and the poll's question of the, the day was, are you ready? Are you ready? So 92% said ready. yes. And <laughs> seven percent said no. No, no, I'm not. Not ready yet. <laughs> Hundred and twenty-six votes. All right. We are ready. Ready for what? I have no idea. But no, as long as know. you know, as long as you know the answer, so what are you ready? Every see this You're is gonna start with a question. This is a start with a question. Okay. What I love about these is that there literally are no wrong answers. It is just sort of these are wonderful conversation starters too. So if we ever ask one of these during a live stream, you get a real kick out of it. Next time you're at a little gathering. Or you're, you know, there's that weird lull in the conversation where everyone's sort of looking awkwardly around at the ceiling and stuff. Pull one of these out and, uh, and ask. All right. <laughs> this can apply to crochet or any DIY method that you might be interested in. What is the largest thing you've ever made? And Mr. and Stitches, I want to know, especially just you, anything. What's the largest thing you've ever made? Just anything. Just not necessarily. I mean, we're all a very variety, a very varied bunch. We uh, don't all just crochet. We do a whole bunch of stuff. So a house. <laughs> is that the biggest thing you've been made? involved with? Yeah, I, I guess mean, you, or a hundred percent like you did every. You did everything. Every single yeah. thing on your own. On your own, yeah. like no, you know, no help. No, yeah. No, okay. <laughs> hmm, I have to really think about that. I I I, I believe, I mean, I'm, this is pretty boring, all things Jeez. considered, but I'm pretty sure the biggest thing I've ever made I can't think of on my own would be my super king sized Afghan. That green, light green and white the one. The green and white oh, one. Oh yeah, that's pretty big. I think of all the that big, like having huge. zero help, zero input. I think the largest thing I've ever done is that, and that's a that's a big blanket. That I we don't we don't have a room big enough for the to spread that out all on a floor. So, and it and of course it's stretched because it's big, so uh, and heavy. But I love that thing. Really nice color. Yeah, that's. I'm like gonna a, have to think on that. So what about everybody else? Well, let's see what we got here. Crocheted a queen size bed, mm -hmm. large scrap blanket, gigantic elephant plushie. Oh my gosh. That's King cool. size blanket. See, mm. it's not a big, it's nothing to sneeze at making a king size blanket. Those are big. That's a lot of work. You don't, and a lot of yarn. King size C to C. Oh, wow. A bed quilt patchwork. King size oh, Afghan, oh, lots of lots of um, king size bed coverings, shawls. Okay, nice. A twenty by thirty foot patio, right one on. wheelbarrow at a time. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you do it. Yup. <laughs> um, in the process of making a king size blanket, a granny square Afghan. Lovely. That's what so my lots of bed covers. That's what my king size I mean, blanket is. It's a granny quite square. large. Yeah, yeah, they are. Yeah, lots of king size bed coverings. I guess a Bo good a good follow-up up question. A huge Bubba Fett blanket. Oh wow, cool. Bubba Fett. I guess a good follow-up question to that would be what's the smallest <laughs> thing you've ever made? Ooh, the smallest? That's fun. 
the smallest the smallest thing you've ever made what's the smallest thing you've ever made and i'm <laughs> i'm really diving into my You're brain making here. my brain fold i think I, I i think the smallest thing i've ever made is a embroidery floss knotted ring with a bead in the center mm. i made I, I got into making like you know how you can you can knot bracelets and chokers and stuff i got into making thin little little rings for a while those were really small I think those are the. I think that's the smallest thing I've ever made. I think I've crocheted some pretty tiny stuff, but I think stitch for stitch, I think that's the smallest thing I've ever made. I think. Yes, <laughs> that's I'm my answer. I'm, I'm, still, I'm, I'm, I'm still thinking. <laughs> a knitted dishcloth, a preemie hat, Aww. baby booties, yes. a bookmark, a small. tiny amigurumi owl. Yes. A crochet rose. The oh, rose yes. from the that's a small, very small. Yeah, that little rosebud we did was really tiny. Anything amigurumi? Mm hmm Those are small. Granny square. Granny squares. Uh a two-inch baby octopus. Oh my gosh. A tiny hamster amigurumi. Oh my gosh. That's cute. That's cute. I love this. You know what? It's 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 a bit of a brain stretch. You have to sort of stop and think. Well, yeah, what because I made? there's a lot of little things, but then you're like, okay, well, but what's, what's the, the smallest? smallest? Ooh, boy, I can't, uh, I can't think. Well, you have to think. Of there's that. a lot of good answers here, though. Cup coaster. Cup coaster. Knotted bracelets. Four yes. leaf clover. Baby girl dresses. Flower applique bookmark. Yeah, a sloth amigurumi. <laughs> That's cute. So a, sloth. a lot of amigurumis. I mean, yeah. amigurumi are pretty yeah. small. Typically. Crochet baby bows. That's tiny. Oh my gosh. A little, a little bow for a baby. <laughs> tiny bunny. Aww. I've made. I yeah. <laughs> I made a bunny pin that was pretty small, but still not as small as my little rings. I don't think. Yeah, I think my rings are the smallest. I think those are the smallest things I've made. I've made small earrings. Back when I was like on a big beading kick, I did a lot of beaded things, but typically I made jewelry. Yeah, jewelry yeah. can be pretty. So cool. lots of amigurumi, lots of um, jewelry, and of course, you know, baby things. Baby stuff. Mini version of baby stuff. Baby stuff is small. Doll stuff is small, pretty small. Oh yeah, doll stuff for sure. I've done I've done a lot of doll things, but still, I don't think any of the doll stuff is as small as a ring. Or is that a little knotted ring? I'm thinking stitch for stitch. Yeah. I guess there's a few different metrics you could use to like figure out what's the smallest thing. <laughs> hello. Big hello to Nay. Nay. Hi, Nay. Nay has made it to a live stream. Nay has made it to a live stream. It's because we're, we're not, we're not, we're not live not streaming the middle, in the middle of the night. It's not the middle of the night for Nay. All right, that was an easy question. Yeah, that was. Well, not for me. I'm, I'm still thinking about <laughs> you're still, it. Still, you're still your your hair's curling. Like, 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 All right. Well, while you're still thinking about that one, let's get into another one here. Oh, oh, I like this one. This one's fun. Okay, what's the strangest thing you've ever found in a basement or a closet? <laughs> strangest thing you've ever found in a basement or a closet and the reason i ask this is because sometimes <laughs> when you're digging around in like you know your grandmother's closet or the basement the or something strangest thing. you come across I, i'm thinking about some of the toys that i found like i had older cousins and they had really they had like toys from like the 60s and the 70s and they would be like odd to me when i was a little kid mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm trying to think back to my to my grandparents' house when they used to, you know, babysit me when I was little. I always felt like I found strange things, but everything's strange when you're when everything's you're a kid. strange when you're a kid. Yeah, that's why I think <laughs> my 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 thoughts kind of went to the sort of like you know finding your stuff. childhood. Yeah, my yeah. childhood. Yeah, yeah, that's because when what you're I did because when you're, you're going well, yeah, as an this? adult, what's you're like, oh, I know what weird. that is. What's this? It's like well, for example, um, <laughs> you know, sometimes strange can mean out of place. Like, you know how sometimes like you would go open uh, the fridge and your mom would have put the phone in the fridge? <laughs> oh, yes. I found the phone. I found the phone in the fridge a few times. <laughs> and the TV remote. Mom on Stitches likes to keep the phone cool. Just in case, you know, you don't want that battery blowing up. <laughs> 
you never know. Um, the controller. I've the seen controller. the controller in the yeah, fridge. Yeah, the the, the, the the phone always <laughs> cracks me up though. <laughs> you know, you're distracted when. Um, All right, that's, that's funny. Really Let's see what some of the people said. <laughs> old photos, of mm, course. Yes. Oh, old photos could be fun. Oh a my mu gosh. A, a, a mummy. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, find that. Oh, an ancient dried plant. Aww. <laughs> uh, ration stamps. Ration stamps. Wow. Cool. Oh my gosh. Those uh, would actually. Those, those I found have... a dead frog mm. in 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 the patio closet. Yuck. <laughs> <laughs> an old an old snake oil bottle oh, oh no cool. way that's actually me yeah a little bit of history that's see that's what it's i'm talking like about antique. it's the neat stuff you find like in your grandparents closet or basement like you know what i mean it's that it's that where did this come from <laughs> phone in the freezer an ancient oh. okay i said one yarn hawks yarn hawks what's a yarn hawk is that like, you know, when you pull the center of a ball out and it's a great big tangled mess? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, once I found a banana peel in an old book bag. Ew. I guess it was all dried up. <laughs> Oops. Forgot um, I put that there. Oh, my goodness. There's so many. Someone said a green sandwich. <laughs> Not what you want to find. Did you pick it up with tweezers or glo <laughs> or gloves? <laughs> Turn a little bag inside. An it. old Nintendo gamer set, like the one when you had to blow on the game before putting it in. Oh yeah. Um, oh, the, like the, the cartridges. The cartridges, the NES, the, cool. the the original NES one or the little one, the Game Boy. Oh yeah, the Game um, Boys. Those are little. Yeah. <laughs> A, t a topless photo of a big lady whom we bought the house from. Ah. <laughs> oh, there's a surprise. Oh, my goodness. Did you mail it back to her? Say, hey, I think, you I think this it. is yours. How'd you know it was me? Um, that's funny. That's really funny. Oh, my goodness. That's That's a good one. <laughs> Ooh, we found a hidden room in our house <gasps> and there were bottles we found out the previous owner had a still down there wow oh my goodness Ooh, a record player disc lol oh cool <laughs> Yeah, that's literally strange now. Yeah, that's like uh, <laughs> that's that's an antique these that days. That is. Isn't it? Oh boy, a naked picture of my ex stepmother. <laughs> now that you'd want to hold on to, just in case. <laughs> that could be helpful. That's that that's that's like evidence. You put that in a file. <laughs> you hold on to that one. Oh my gosh. What? Well, how? Oh my gosh. Imagine. Imagine a. Doing that, B, forgetting that you put it somewhere. I know. And then C, leaving it. A lot. Behind. You know what? That's like three or four naked photos of someone in closets. Like, wow. <laughs> people just people just leave their naked photos laying I around. Guess that's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> a beeper. A beeper. Was it beeping? Oh my gosh! I have not said the words beeper in a long time. Oh my goodness! The beeper. The beeper. Remember when that was a thing? Oh, I remember. We're old enough to remember I remember that. being the coolest kid on the street, waiting for it to go off, and then Hoping so. pointing my hip at everyone to make sure they heard it. You hear that? You hear that? Hey, oh, hey. Hey, Gotta oh, go. you know what? I have, to, I have to drive 45 minutes to make a phone call. <laughs> I'll be back in three days. <laughs> you remember? Yeah. Yeah, you get you get you like, beef, you know, but we didn't have like the cell phone. <laughs> call were, now. We, we, okay. Oh, you know, you know, or you'd you always respond. get the 911, like it meant like you know, call back immediately, yeah. but it what that's all you get. 911, 911. Like, what what phone number plus 911. <laughs> it's like oh, is everything an emergency? <laughs> Can you bring home some milk? <laughs> Your father forgot the cat food. <laughs> 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 You're still out. Bring home cat food. This is not an emergency. 
Well, yeah, you tell that to the cat. You know, <laughs> the cat's scraping everything, shredding all the curtains. It's an emergency. <laughs> Oh my god. Beepers, yeah. Oh my gosh. Who's wearing a beeper right now? Be honest. Okay, who still has a beeper? I think I might have my old have my yours? old one. I had I had I had a few, but I might have one laying around unless we got rid of it. That's like that should be in a museum. That should be in a museum. Yeah. Um we have a membership renewal. Hey! First one of the evening. Happy Friday night. A big thank you to Courtney. Thank you, Courtney. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Hey, Princess Francis is here hey, tonight. Princess! Oh my gosh. We're just grabbing everybody this evening. This is great. Maybe we should do a few more uh, evening sessions. As oh my to goodness. Ones. Princess Francis says, I found my father's glass eye. It scared me to death. That'd be scary. Especially if it is a bit dark in there, and, and it and it kind of dropped and started rolling a little. <laughs> you know, and you're like, what is that? You pick oh, it up oh, and it's oh. staring it's at you. Staring. Ah! Oh yeah, that would send me screaming. That's the, the stuff that nightmares are made of. Oh my gosh! Oh my Finding goodness! Finding a glass eye. I mean, that's creepy, but kind of neat at the mm -hmm. same time. Oh my gosh! Boy, we we all have uh, collectively. We've got some cool cupboards and basements, man. I have an old one I just found. Yeah, is that the beeper or a glass eye? <laughs> Glass Eye wins. Glass Eye wins. Yep, that's the winner. <laughs> I don't know. I think the naked photo of the you well, know, those are just funny. previous owner. A bit and... shocking, but funny. Yeah, I guess your question was strange. Strange. And I mean, that yeah. counts. I would say that all that stuff counts as strange. Yeah, it all counts. It all counts. But I think Princess Francis wins. That's very strange. Well, wait a sec. The green sandwich is pretty the strange. The green stra sandwich is strange. <laughs> I got to say, though, the, 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 I mean, was the eyeball missing? Like. <laughs> so was it, was it her father? Do you, do you was just. Was it her father's? Usually if you find a glass eye, you have to assume that somebody's missing, <laughs> missing it. I found my biological father's adoption records taped under his adopted father's desk. Wow. I think my brain just twisted and. Twisted up and folded. What? My biological father's okay. adoption records. Okay. So he was adopted. So under he his adopted father's desk. So so the bio so biological father was adopted. Was adopted. And the adopted father had had his adoption papers taped underneath the desk. Oh my goodness. Wow. That's a, that's quite a find. You find some cool stuff in desks. Oh yeah, too. always always look behind the drawers. Yes, always look behind the drawers. Always take the drawers out. Especially if you're like selling your family's old furniture. Goodness me, yes. Make sure you always look for those naked look, photos. <laughs> look for the naked photos. Make sure you put them in a file and save them. Because you never know. Scrapbook them. You might need you might need you might need them one day. <laughs> oh, I, I have I, evidence. I, I <laughs> Picturing like you know when people come over and you know like you know like you know the, the, the daughters brought brought home the boyfriend for the first time you're going through the family album it's like well here's your mom and her birthday set. No, the worst is when it was thrown mom. in there. It was thrown in there loosely because you were like oh I better deal oh, with this yeah. and then it just and falls like right on the floor and there's like you know twenty people all like what is this? That's the worst. <laughs> And, and the youngest kid in the room picks it up and runs around with it, right? <laughs> so here's from Brenda. My dad had a glass eye. I brought it to school in second grade to scare the kids that were mean to me. I got suspended. Whoa! Oh, oh my God. Oh. Oh. Great I, story, You know though. what? That's a good story, mm -hmm. and I bet you it was worth it. Mm -hmm. If they were being mean to you, then That's being suspended it. was worth it for <laughs> sure. <laughs> that is really funny. I like that. Oh my goodness, this is great. Oh yeah. We got lots of uh, awesome stories here. Welcome, welcome to everyone that made it. Yeah, thanks for dropping in. It's just sort of a hangout session this evening. We're uh, we're fighting off the squirrels in the bad, bad windy weather here. I am close to finishing the blanket, which is, uh, I, I worked on it all day. And I've got, I've done 10 strips of the pattern. So I think I'm going to leave it to 10 strips. And then I'm going to start working on a blanket border and I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet so creating as I go 
which is so much fun. It takes the pressure off. Kind of like, does this work? Oh, I like the way this looks. Oh, I like that. All right. It's looking good to me. Another I'll question, my dear. There. I'm just reading through the chat. You're, uh, you're hogging all the tasty answers to yourself. Well, I mean, um, I think we got through most Did we? of okay. them. Yeah. All right. Gee, you know, I should have, I should have asked. Should everyone's, have uh, everyone's discussing the weather right now in their area. Oh, good. Yes. Yeah. Uh, temperatures. Someone said that it, um, I forget where they were, but it, they said it was 118. Whoa. That's hot. Vegas by any chance? Vegas, that's, California. I don't know. That's hot. Oh my. Boston is 80. 80. That's um, roughly 20-ish. 20-ish? Yeah, that's around our 20. I think it's 20-ish here, but because it's so windy, it's kind of on the cool side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been really windy all day. Yeah. Um, Makes it nice for snoozing, though. So that's good. I'd rather have I'd rather have it cool than than really hot. I like it hot when I'm at the beach. I like it hot when it's like you know um, when there's a bit of a breeze. I like that. But otherwise, I, I like it just sort of just 20 degrees is like perfect in my opinion. Mm -hmm. So I think we need a fun poll. Okay. And then we can do another question. All right. So fun poll. Let me see. Let's see if we have any ideas. What is a good poll? Um, Abigail says, can you please hold up the blanket for a quick moment? Yes. Yes. It Abigail. looks beautiful. Hang on a second, my dear. Let me just pull up on my loop. All right, so far so good. Looks like Shorbit. All right, just this is so darn cute. You know, you know me. I I line a lot of stuff in white. A lot of the the, the crochet blankets that we do end up with like white borders and stuff. But on a baby blanket, I just I like I like using white as sort of the the neutral. I like light gray as a neutral too. A this blanket, blanket's turning out amazing. This is really um, our our camera and internet, our mainly our internet does not doesn't do, do it justice. It doesn't do it justice. Well, the thumbnail. I'm looking at it through the screen and it's not as. I tried to get the I tried to get like a good it's picture. It's a lot of more vivid, yes. and brighter than yes. it looks on screen. Yeah, they're really the colors are really pretty. Um. <laughs> oh my goodness. <clears throat> Remember Catherine who gave, and her husband gave yes. us a Hi super, guys. super thank chat? Thank you so much oh my again. Goodness. Thank well, you, Well, they've you. given us another super, super chat. You did not. Guys. Yes. So a big thank you to Catherine and hubby. Thank you for hanging uh, out again, too. Catherine says. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Everyone thinks the blanket is very pretty, by Thanks, the way. guys. I love it. Uh, Catherine out. says, hope this helps in defeating the squirrels. Thank you. Nice to see and hear you again. What happened to the video? We had squirrel issues. Sometimes this happens to us. Mania. We We have, um, well, you all know, if you've been watching for very long, that our our internet is like, me? You. Me? <laughs> you. And in the last year, it's been a little crazier. And, um, and whenever it's windy... We always say, you know, like, oh, here come the squirrels, but we just were never sure. And uh, we know there's been, there's been, we should have, we should have heeded the warning. We knew there were some outages here and there um, this morning when we got up, but we thought, oh, well, we're fine. Um, anyway, it looks like we may have had some. some we always issues, so try. We try our best and usually it's okay. But I mean, if you go we back also, and look we at We also some had of the, the laptop on full, like it was just running too many, lots of programs. Yeah. We, we honestly don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> We're just hypothesizing that it was squirrels. So it's, I mean, you may have noticed sometimes when we stream, it, it stream is totally different from a video because we just don't have the bandwidth for it. Yes, yes. But um, you may have noticed some of our streams come out wonky, like the like the video doesn't match the audio. Yes, and yeah. And it's just hit and miss. Yeah, but and sometimes we, you we, know. They are working on our, we're, um, this, that's this, the other thing. this year they're working on our internet. So we have our, Fingers crossed that we're actually going to have decent internet um, this year. Yes. So we're kind of excited about it. But that. that also means that they've been very busy in the area, pulling, yeah, yeah. literally so ripping stuff like out of the ground. So we don't know. Pulling wires if... and disconnecting we things. No and we had, um, when was that? A few weeks back, our email was just like a disaster. Like nothing oh, was working. Nothing was working. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. it's been a little. <clears throat> it's been a little funny. <laughs> so, anyway, I am the, back. I'm going to use I'm going to use um, Catherine's super chat money to purchase the premium seeds for our poor little squirrels. For our squirrels. And and obviously... Hopefully they will leave us alone. <laughs> 
Thank you very much. We, we very much appreciate it. Emma, you know what? I'm just, it's, it's, we're really happy that everything kind of got spun back up. So we were able to sort of sit here and hang out with everybody this evening. <laughs> and I have to say, I have to say, I've forgotten how enjoyable it is to sit and, and kind of hang out in the evening. And I'm really, I'm thinking yeah, we maybe we'll, done evenings in a really we should, long time. We should really try and, and see if we can do a few more evenings because it seems like that. You know what? I'm going to do too. a poll. <gasps> That's the poll. This is going to be a legit poll. Okay. I'm going to ask everyone, would you prefer, I'm going to put it in the poll. Okay. As opposed to <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise I'm spoiling the surprise. <laughs> Well, I do, I do love, I think I, a few of you said you were having a, it was pizza night. And so you're going to sort of put your feet up, have a slice of pizza and hang out with the live stream. Love that. Uh, a couple of you have got grandkids over for the weekend. So you're looking forward to the distraction. I <laughs> love that too. Um, and just, you know, it's nice. I, I, it's just, the week is done. The week is done. You can put your feet up. If you had a busy day at work, then, you know, Sort of sit down, pick up your crochet, grab yourself a little uh, little cocktail or a uh, whatever you might be into. I don't know if it's a hot or cold wherever you are. You want a hot or you want cool or hot, I suppose, to drink. And um, just uh, settle in. Settle into the weekend. We're going to have some more goofy questions. Hopefully you can get a whole bunch of, like, this is, this is another reason I love the live streams. You actually get some work done on a crochet project <laughs> that you might not otherwise have done. I do that. I'm like, oh, you know what? I'm not going to sit here and listen to this. I'll take the time to like work on such and such. It's done. I got, I always, no matter what I do, I always have a handful of projects sitting in my work in progress file, despite my best efforts. So this is a good excuse to get a little bit. Like it's turned out great. So far, so pretty. I Looking love really it. good. I'm just coming around the corner. I've just finished a sort of joining the last strip and then I'm going to finish off its border. So this... how about both? <laughs> I don't think we can do, I don't think we can do dual live streams. Not all the time. I think we, we might be able to, to occasionally it's do on it. occasion. Like it just, we were really but, lucky that it worked out today. Yeah, today we were able to, but um, because we I don't could. know. We'll have to take, we'll have to play it by ear. Yes. But thank you. But thank you. For the uh, supportive uh, comments. So if you haven't noticed, the poll is up. <laughs> Ooh, oh my goodness. Did we did we run this a uh, poll in the in the community tab in the past? The evening versus Yes, we did. We did a um we did a because uh, we because with our sum our summer schedule changes up a little bit for us. And so we were trying to sort of figure out it was mostly about the Friday video, like when the Friday video. Yeah, that's what be. I was thinking. It was about the it was the Friday video, yes. not the live stream. Okay, because so this poll. Typically, we do our Friday videos uh, around February so 11. Make sure you vote if you have your tablet or phone handy or yep. your computer. Um, we have almost just shy of 100 votes right now. Eee! Would you prefer morning live streams or evening live streams? And I am surprised to see this because usually when we run a poll, it's like very close. Yes. This is 91% evening. Okay, then. Yeah. All right. Well, so we... it looks like so far, but now is this, is this a biased poll because we're, it's in the because we're running it in the evening? Oh, oh no, we're going to have to. Hmm. <laughs> this is not exactly a scientific. Yeah, this is, we're going to have to work <laughs> on the scientific method here. <laughs> We might have to run it in the morning. But too, I have but... to say, a lot of people who were who were managed to pop by this morning were also are also here again this afternoon. Yes, yep. There are a lot of people that were here this morning here today. Well, I so. think I, I I don't mind doing evening evening uh, live streams for a little while. I know sometimes on a Friday we do a double feature and we do a, like a video in the morning. Then maybe if we do a live stream, if we have time to do the live stream, we should just do it later in the day. Is maybe, that what I'm? Is that what I'm kind of getting maybe, from everybody? Maybe that's what we should do. Maybe we should switch back to evenings because um, if that's what everyone prefers, we um, maybe we'll run it on the community tab. That mm -hmm. way, everyone has everybody a few has a days, chance to, to vote in. Days to vote in. Do you know what? I think that actually makes a lot of sense because <clears throat> in the summer it will be a little cooler in the evening, and oh, um, and that would be. We have that information. Some people asking about uh, the blanket notes. Yes, yes, we have uh, information on the blanket, and. Um, Oh, that is so cute. I hope to have a written pattern with photos and the whole nine yards up in the shop. 
this weekend. Yes. Like several people have asked. So um, with any luck, Maybe I'll have that done. Sunday night. Yes. We'll try our best. I'll do my best. Um, Sienna, I think Sienna had a question here. Sienna yeah. asks, um, what would you recommend for the border? Well, I'm not sure. I'm going to finish this little strip. And then I'm going to assess my yarn, and um, I might actually ask a yarn question, but I'm going to get to that. Um, first, I'm going to add a row of white all the way around. I'm still contemplating the stitch I'm going to use. I'm thinking I might use a half double crochet V stitch just to establish a border row um, and kind of even up the edges. I'm going to do it in white because that will smooth things out, and it'll take out. See, see where there's like the odd little like bubble, bubble. I want to smooth that out. So I'm thinking a half double crochet piece stitch. What type of yarn are you using? This is a lightweight, size three, yeah, almost a size four medium. Um, and it's acrylic, but for a baby blanket, you could use baby acrylic, cotton, a blend, um, you know, as long as it feels nice, washes easily and, um, it uh, doesn't have a lot of fluffies in it. You don't want and to uh, the fluffy. seashell stitch for the MMAM, that's June's video, Yes, right? that was the June video. So it was two need, weeks if away. If you need a more tutorial style and uh, lesson, you can go to the June video for the um, we will Mighty link Mile that. a Minute. We will link that in the pinned comment, provided the stream doesn't disappear. <laughs> provided the squirrels don't <laughs> rage at us again. Yes, no raging squirrels. <laughs> Raging Squirrels, that's funny. Raging Squirrels, that's a good rock band. Yeah, band. Raging Squirrels. <laughs> Cute. Super chat! Hey! We got a super chat from Julie. Thank you, Julie. Julie says, I'm on the autism spectrum. Come on Thank away. you for teaching me. It is winter in Australia. What is your favorite project? Thank you for asking. Uh, my favorite project. It depends on the time of year. So for example, in the winter, I really love to do hats, uh, scarves, fingerless mitts, things that are kind of uh, cozy that maybe keep me warm while I'm on them and also keep me warm after I'm finished. <laughs> in the summer, I love to do baby blankets and I love to do cotton projects. <laughs> so anything that's kind of small and cool and lightweight, that's, uh, so yeah, de definitely what I love to do is heavily dependent upon the time of year. Um, but thank you for asking. Hey, you found the bell. Someone asked if I still have the yeah. bell. Yes. Yes. Had to go. It was just it. tucked away on the shelf over there. <laughs> oh, that's right. You you tidied everything up in here so I could sew. Yeah. That's so remember good. we cleaned up and got the table ready got for your ready. all your sewing machines. And I intend to do a little more this weekend. Hoping to do some more sewing. I wanna I wanna make myself a um I don't know if any of you remember the dress I made myself last year. I was wearing it in a live stream. It's a, it's a, it's. Just, oh yeah, you're gonna make another one. I want to make another oh, one of those. Beautiful. It was a little jelly bean print. It was really cute, but it was such a fun pattern to work with. Yeah, that, that was I, a few months back. Do I have her book? Um, it's a, it's a pattern I got. Cameron will find yeah, it. Yeah, Cameron. He finds all the videos. <laughs> Cammy will find it. Cam, Cammy and Katie. Yes, um, they. It's a. It's a pattern that I bought from um, an Etsy shop. Her name's her name's Pineapple something. Aren't darn it all. I feel terrible. I don't have it right at the fingertips, but I think but it, it was, I think we put uh, it, it in the live stream from this winter. No, no, it would have been the warm weather because it was a warm. I was wearing it. Oh well, then so it, it was last summer. Last summer. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I know a whole year ago. I think I can't I, remember now. I can't remember, but I think I may have mentioned her shop in the description box, um, if I remember. Yep, yep, we did. But um, anyway, yeah, she 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 designed this. Um, it's a it's one of the biggest patterns I've ever bought. It was like thirty pages, but she literally explained <laughs> word for word how to make this dress to fit you. So it's like a haute couture, right? On the body, of the body. You want to make it to fit yourself. So your measurements, your everything. And of all the patterns I have ever made in my life, that dress fit the best. So I am really eager to make another one. And I have all this really cute, like autumn, autumn themed cotton prints. It was like little pumpkins and stuff on it because autumn is my favorite time of year. And I don't think there's anything wrong with wearing an autumn print in the summer. <laughs> no. Um, and I mean, this is one of those dresses where you can put on a pair of leggings and a cute little cardigan and sort of walk right into the fall in it. Mm. So 
So here's, that's what I want to make. Here's a it. here's a question sure. for Jada, but I think everyone everyone can answer this in the chat. Yes, yes. This is from Kelly. Jada, do you have a favorite grim fairy tale Ooh, story? Kelly, good question. Mm -hmm. I even have I have the grim the grim collection. I have I think that's in the other room. I have the collected the works of yeah. the Grimm brothers. Yes. What's your favorite? That is tough. I know. I, I, I'm not familiar with exactly which ones they all are. Well, it's it's I all mean, the typical Hansel fairy tales. Gretel, it's just that, that they're dark. <laughs> like the original yeah. fairy tales were not all cheerful. The, the the original ones are a little more. They're dark. They're scary. Yeah, they're very dark. Yeah, I unlike the. I think I know a lot of them. You know, sort of a lot of them are center around children being lost in the uh, woods or my wish, my women wish. kind of being lost in the woods. I like any of those where there's some someone being lost in the woods and uh -huh. like stumbling into a... Marisha is watching. We got a super chat from Nay. Hey, Nay! And Nay says, Marisha, Marisha is watching with me and screaming hi With to her you. sweet little owl hi, cheeks. Hi, hello. Hi, oh my gosh. Hi. Am I pronouncing that right, Marisha? Marisha? <laughs> Let me know, Nay. It's, it's, uh, it's, Mar it's Marisha, right? Oh That's my gosh. how I see it, Marisha. I've probably been saying it to myself wrong all this time, but <laughs> Nay will set us so straight. so cute. Oh my gosh, I know. She's, she's adorable. She's got these big round apple cheeks. She's so cute. Aww. <laughs> Aww. Okay. Did I miss the super chat? Let me go check. All right. Um... I have. Nope, I got Julie's, and there might be a delay on the chat because mm -hmm. sometimes that happens. So it maybe it hasn't come into my, on my end yet, but I see Julie and Nay here, so I don't think I missed one yet. Thanks, guys. Um, I'm gonna end the poll. Okay, I'm gonna measure. Oh, my I'm gonna give it. everyone another minute to um to vote. Twenty four and a half inches wide before blocking. I like that because I'm gonna put a border on. All right. That looks great. So before you release the, the hounds? stats, I have finished working oh, the you know last what? little. I forgot the bell. Oh. This is for the last. <laughs> for uh, this is for Nay. <laughs> Nay needs a bell. She barely makes it here. <laughs> I know. Nay always misses it because of the time. The time zones. It's a. Uh... So it, when 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 uh, Marisha was was a lot younger, she was usually up in the middle of the night with Aww, her, and so she, she was so able to catch cute. us. <laughs> All right, mm -hmm. I finished the last sort of join as you go border. I'm not adding any more strips, but I'm not fastening off my white because I'm going to continue working the border. And I said I was going to do little tiny half double crochet V stitches. And I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to, since I joined, when you, when you finished with the join as you go border, the last thing you do is work three double crochet, chain two to mm -hmm. turn your last corner, and then you join with a slip stitch at the top of the chain three. So I want to start in a space. It doesn't have to be a corner space, um, but I'm going to slip stitch across this little, these two double crochets in this shell and into the space between shells. And I'm going to oh, start there. Oh, I think Cameron found it. Really? Cameron is a sleuthing genius. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this makes sense. The measurements video. Yes. 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 Wow, you're good. Thank you, Cameron. Yes, because I that I, that I remember sense. we did a video on member on measurements, mm -hmm. and that makes sense that you would have worn the the dress. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, because, All right. because so you... if anyone's curious to see that dress, that's that's the video. So that was a live stream on how June to June nineteenth, twenty twenty. So to take almost a year on the nose. Yeah. That was a good, that was an important, that was a, that was a good one. Yeah. Taking accurate measurements of yourself is really tricky. And that's not something that, that is taught necessarily, unless you actually take like a pattern drafting class. We have a couple of fun little questions here. Okay. Um, so this is from a very swag person. <laughs> Jada, what is the hardest thing you have ever crocheted? Hardest thing I've ever crocheted. Ooh, I found a pattern in i believe it's russian i don't know i don't recognize the script well enough to say that it was russian or not but i think it was russian and it had a bit of a graph attached to it and it was for a pretty little capelet 
And the graph that I was sort of fighting my way through included all sorts of things that I didn't recognize. And I had to kind of try and figure it out as I went along. And I think I got it. I haven't actually finished it yet. That's another one at the bottom of my pile. But that that was difficult because I I, I wasn't really sure if I was if I was reading it properly. Mm. And, and it was in another language. But I like to do that sometimes. Mm. I like to try and work my Challenge way through, through patterns that are in a different language. Yeah. Um, we've got a membership renewal. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Friday night membership from renewal. Cindy. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you for renewing. Okay, I'm gonna end the poll. Okay. Here we go. Ending the poll. End poll. <laughs> there was another question here. What is your favorite all-time song? Oh my gosh. Oh, that's we've, easy. We've been asked this one before easy. and it's hard to um there's too many I like. I only have Eyes for You by the Flamingos. Oh, that that's your number one. Number one knock. Shubadoop. Yes. Shubadoop. Shubadoop. <laughs> that guy sounds like his voice is so clear. I just, I, that is my favorite song. Yeah, that's I, a very pretty song. I have a little story that goes with that. When I was really, really little, obviously this that song predates me by quite a bit, can I say? <laughs> um, we, uh, on Friday nights, no, Saturday nights, a long time ago in the 80s, there was a radio station in Toronto that used to play Looking Back. How many of you know what I'm talking about? It was Looking Back, and it was all music from like the 60s and the 70s, um, the 50s. It was all kind of the old school music that was old school in the 80s. And um, that song got played quite a bit. And I was always in bed um, because I was very little at the time, um, long before this 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 radio program would come on. But I would hear that song and I would sneak out of my room and I would sneak to the top of the stairs so I could sit and listen to it. And then I would go back to bed. But I love that song. I love it. Look it up on YouTube later if you don't know. Yeah, if you don't know the song, yeah. check it out. It is the sweetest song. Is that it's from very the romantic. 50s? I think it's from like the 50s or the early 60s. I don't even really know. But somebody I'm going to guess 50s. It. it has that sound. Shoot about about? Yeah. Yeah. Love it. Where's our Zoomers? Yeah. We have some Zoomer viewers out there. <laughs> got, Let us know. We've got some Zoomers. And some Boomers. No, Boomers would have been really, really The Boomers young. would have been they children, have been babies, I think. Kids. But, um, kids. but they would know it. Yeah. The older Boomers. Where's our been. Zoomer? our Zoomer crew? Zoomer crew. Someone will know the date. Okay. So, yes. I am doing a half double crochet V-stitch all the way around the blanket to start the border. And I'm doing a it half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet in between all of the shells. And I'm just going to... I know you can't see this, but don't worry. It's... it's, it's uh, I will explain it. Anytime you get to a seam, so where the two shells meet from the adjacent strips, I'm skipping over top of that. So I'm putting a half double crochet V-stitch in the corner space of a strip, hopping over where the two strips abut each other, and then into the other corner space of the next strip. And that's where I'm putting the next V-stitch. Otherwise, it's in between all the shells all the way across. I think that's going to keep a nice, even, not puckered, not rippling kind of kind of a border row. It's a nice establishing row for the border. And it's easy. It doesn't require like paying close attention to like individual mm -hmm. stitches or anything. We are in the Eastern time zone. So we're the same as uh, New York. New York. Yeah. Did, did you have a poll? I did. And uh, you want to know the results? Yeah, but you've got to tell me what the poll was. <laughs> I didn't tell you. Did I just sneak that one in there without in there. your approval? <laughs> <laughs> Would you prefer morning live streams or yes. evening live streams? Yes, 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 yes. So evening is an overwhelming win at 84%. Okay. 15% for morning. Evening it is. Now, if we're going to do this properly. Well, we should probably do 85%. Scientifically, we should also do this in, in the, the morning, morning. Ask the same question. <laughs> Or send it out to the community tab. I think we'll do we'll do that too. Yeah, yeah. I think we should do that. Yeah, and then we'll see what comes back. But yeah, that's, that's good to that's know. Thanks great... everyone for Thank uh, voting. <laughs> and we've got some new members. <laughs> we've got.
Wee. I love that bell. Ding, 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 ding. So a big super welcome to Roberta. Hi, Roberta. Who has joined our Vicuña level. Oh, thank you. Welcome to the family. And a big thank you to Katrina's Crochet World. Oh, I love that. Who has upgraded to Silk. Thank you. Well, bo both of you, um, it make sure you go to the community po tab. That's anybody who's a member. And for that matter, anybody who's a subscriber, because we put all sorts of stuff in the community tab. Um, you just go to our channel homepage. You find that by clicking on the name. So our channel name underneath the video. It'll take you to the homepage. And then across the top where it says videos, playlists, blah, 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 blah. Look for community. Boop. And then you can see all the posts. And you can just scroll back to the beginning of time and see everything there. Um, and there's all sorts of fun stuff. We've got little word games. We've got all sorts of goofy things. Um, depending on on whether you're a subscriber or you're a channel member, that's kind of where everything lands. And I guess it's we're going to be doing a poll soon for everybody to kind of get a taste of everybody's ideas about when they want to see a uh, a live stream. Typically, I mean, we do try to move them around, but it has been a while since we did some evening live streams. So. I think uh, I think doing some in the evening for a little while is a great idea, especially since it's going to be hot. Summers are hot. So Sherry and Diane have shared the dates, and Lorraine have checked out that song. Guys, thank you. Um, we've got here recorded in 1958, released in 1959. Wow, I was close. Yeah. Late 50s, early 60s. So yeah, oh, we were both right. I love that song. So yes, we both we were. Win. We both were right. We're both winners. Uh, half double crochet V-stitch, chain two, half double crochet V-stitch in the corners, if you are keeping track. Um, just, just to sort of turn the corner, and it's going to make a nice little, yeah, it's going to make a nice little, nice little right angled corner. Do we have this one slide that has all that information? Is it all the information, or do the other slides have more information? Um, the one slide has all the pertinent information yep. for the, ba for the base of the okay. blanket. That's the one I'm showing. But I'm literally making up the border as I go, so there would be no border There's no info on that. No, not okay. yet. Yes. Well, I only have eyes for your blankets, so what can I say? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> all right, let's ask another goofy question here. Before we do that, <laughs> Not only has Katrina upgraded her membership, Aww. she has also super chatted us. <laughs> Thank you, Katrina. You guys are amazing. Aww. You're amazing. Thank you. <laughs> I feel silly most of the time, but, <laughs> <laughs> but we're hoping we uh, we're we're hoping we can bring you guys some chuckles. We had some spare time today. Yes, so we, we thought, did. Well, let's just stream again. We got all of our work done first thing in the morning, and thank goodness we, we did. We, do, it we, well. know, we know that a lot of our viewers can't make it to the morning streams, and we have been doing mornings for quite a long time. We have. That's when we have morning, time. middle of the day. Yeah. You know? but, so this is kind of it's kind of fun. It's we haven't special. done this in a long time. Yeah. I, I think the last time we streamed in an evening was for a year ago. Yeah. And, you know, I'm really having a good time. <laughs> We always have a good time when the I always have a Stitches good time family with is hanging family, out with us. The family and the awesome community here. But I got to say, uh, you know, when you're approaching the end of a project, especially like a baby blanket or, or a blanket project, and, and you can really see that it's going to be like all mm -hmm. the things you hoped it would be, <laughs> you kind of like get an extra, extra, extra dose of nitro. All right. I have a question here. This is from Sakura Sue. Mm. What two totally normal things become really weird if you do them back to back? I love that. I'm going to ask that again. What two totally normal things, like eating breakfast and going for a walk, become really weird if you do them back to back? Like, can you repeat that? What two totally normal things? Okay. Brushing your hair. Yeah. Using yeah. a fork. Oh, this is a good one. Become really weird if you do them back to back. Oh my goodness, what a great question. For example, you know, combing your hair while going for a walk. That becomes kind of weird. <laughs> I see. Thinking caps on, because this one is, Whoa, this is a fun question. that's a bit question. of a brain teaser. Yes, it's a brain teaser. Yeah. I love it. Good question, Sakura so, Sue. take a couple of totally normal things, like, uh, let me see, what's totally normal? What exactly is totally normal? <laughs> Asking me the wrong person. So going grocery shopping while putting on deodorant would be strange. That would be strange. Like if you're in line <laughs> with your shirt off putting on, you know, while you're checking out, that'd be weird, right? But those are two totally normal yes, things. Yes, putting on deodorant and going grocery shopping. I win, 10 out of 10. 
<laughs> let's see who can beat that one. Um. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Get dressed and then take a shower. <laughs> yes, that's good. I like that. <laughs> oh dressed. my god, take this is gonna this is gonna get this some. We're great. gonna get some good ones. Sue Sue had some really great questions. I have to say this this one this one does not drinking disappear. orange juice after brushing your teeth. Yeah, oh, that's like wool. Oh, I've done yes. that a few times. Yep, that's weird. But <laughs> eating breakfast while going out to lunch. <laughs> How about how about I would do how about that. eating your breakfast while you're in line at the restaurant, like waiting to be seated? Eating how about but eating you're but lunch you're eating like a burrito while you're waiting to be seated. <laughs> what about like oh you know you go to like a fast food place like McDonald's and you you know you're sitting there <laughs> while you're waiting to be seated eating like you know your junk food? That'd be strange. I I would say I would say that. Eating a salad and driving a car are two normal things, mm -hmm. and they're weird when you put them together. Yes, they are. And I can, I can vouch for that. I know, that we've seen it. We've what was even it. weirder about that, we had family over from uh, <laughs> from another country, mm -hmm. and we were literally, they were literally joking about, wow, you guys do, you guys eat you guys do everything in your cars. It's so weird. And you guys eat in your cars and drink in your cars. It's so weird. It's so weird because they're used to, when it's time to eat and drink, you sit with your family and you eat, sit at the table and you have your meal and yes. you have a conversation. And we were like, well, in the West, you're kind of always on the run. Yeah. It's everything's just part so of the lifestyle. Out. You yeah. know, you're always driving around. Everything's far away and spread out. So while we were having this conversation, we were stopped at a red light. <laughs> we were in the middle of this conversation. <laughs> we looked over and there was, I don't know if it was a guy or a girl. But they were eating salad <laughs> out of a normal bowl <laughs> with a normal fork. <laughs> All it wasn't normal. even a to-go. It wasn't even a to-go package, and it was like, wow! Look at the timing on that. All normal, but put it in a car behind the wheel while driving. It's, and it's a bit like, strange. I've seen women doing their makeup while driving. Guys shaving. Yeah, shaving. <laughs> I've seen. I, I've. I've. I, I've literally seen. All sorts of normal activities, but behind the wheel of the car. Yeah. So not safe. <laughs> Brushing your teeth and then drinking coffee. I've done that so many times. The first few sips are a little. You're like mobile. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, eating sushi with French fries. Yeah, that's a bit odd. That's weird, but that. I think that would kind of work. I though, would also rice, love that. <laughs> rice, salty seaweed, mm, French fries. I think that would work. Sushi. I think I'm gonna make French fry sushi. French fry sushi. Well, I love I love seaweed, like the seaweed wraps. Oh, I love that. Stuff. I just would like that I just salty. peel them apart. Oh, it's so good. I love that stuff. Yeah. And wasabi. Oh. <laughs> See what else we got in here. Anyone else have uh, some strange back to back stuff? I love it. Going to church and crocheting while the minister is talking. Is that? <laughs> is is that? Is that Are you doing it like under your coat, you know, or I'm trying to decide if that's disrespectful. And I only and this is why I ask, because I grew up uh, in a big group of knitting women and the knitting kind of went everywhere. So I'm used to seeing knitting being hauled out all over the place. Is it is it rude to sit and knit while someone is lecturing? I guess I guess that's the question. Is is that is that rude? Because it's not really rude to sit around with family and friends. Maybe I guess. I mean, I've seen people knitting and crocheting at the movie theater. Well, it I've depends seen, on what's going on. I guess I it does. It depends on the event. It does. Yeah. It does depend on the event. Um, because you know what? It, the, the sort of crocheting and knitting is kind of a it's kind of a casual thing. I don't know. I guess it depends on the event. But yes, that is a little, that is a little. Crocheting well, driving anytime, a car. Well, anytime you're, anytime <laughs> How about anything in driving is, a car? is away from, you yes. know, the, the, the group. Yes. It's a little bit, a little bit sus. A little sus? It's a little sus, a little as sus. Summer would say. <laughs> it's a little sus. It's a little sus. So, yeah, I think that's how it works. Is that the etiquette? I don't know. Being sus. <laughs> Being sus. <laughs> well, I'm just sitting here realizing like that. Like if you were to walk into a room anything, and act like everyone around you was sus, that'd be weird too. 
you know, giving everyone walking into a the room, slanted eye. What's being that paranoid. Called? Give everyone this eye. <laughs> the, 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 the hairy eyeball. Is the, yeah, that. that. <laughs> Imagine you just walked into a room and that's all you did. To just, everyone. just walking like, around, looking you know, like, like I suspiciously look at you and you and you. Meanwhile, you know, they're like family and stuff. That'd that's a good one. <laughs> walking into a room, wearing a costume. So wearing a costume isn't necessarily weird. Walking into a room isn't necessarily weird unless you're not invited or it's not Halloween. <laughs> what if you're not invited and you wear an over-the-top costume? <laughs> That'd be really weird. Then they might think you're the hired like entertainment or something. What if you dress like Halloween but you go to a wedding? Well, Is that I bizarre? have been to weddings that like required like costumes. A, you know, so... a giant cookie suit or something. <laughs> and knock Again, people over. they might think you're the entertainment. It's tough to say. <laughs> uh, Lorraine, Lorraine says not if you're listening. I agree, Lorraine. I, I think I think you can actively listen and and crochet at the same time. Sherry I, I says so. no because some of us learn better when our hands are busy. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Who who among you mm -hmm. would study yeah, for an exam? Yeah, I can get behind that. I can get behind that. And eat snacks or knit. I used to. I studied for all of my university exams while knitting mittens. I just stood there. Leslie says it is never <laughs> wrong to crochet. <laughs> We're Never is in cats. Obviously, there's I mean, a bit of a skew in the in this the, is in definitely the bias. A in this <laughs> there's a bias in this group, that's for sure. <laughs> Love it. Oh my gosh. Eating ice cream and gravy. Yeah, that's weird. That's weird. But However, French fries and I ice have cream to say, yeah, are... you love the fries with the it's that it's that, that frosty shake, smoothie. That frosty kind of... at Wendy's with I with salted. Last year I Hot, started salted French fry, cold, tasty, frosty. Are yeah. you kidding me? Uh, the gravy thing is a bit strange, That's but bit... last year I started putting salt on my Sundays. Yes, on your ice cream and Sundays. I couldn't get enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what is wrong with me? It's so good. Well, okay, I gotta say, there, you know, what maybe... about fried dessert? Like fried ice cream. Are you kind of oh, getting into like the yum. gravy esque? Well, I was about to say, batter it. isn't it like battered? And stuff? I love sweet potato casserole with marshmallows. To me, that's like delicious. Like that's a sweet potato. Is it a, is it dinner? Is it dessert? Is it dinner? Is it dessert? Also, if you, um, you know, it's very, it's very typical to serve pineapple ah. with ham. Here's a good one from summer. Brushing out my German shepherd after I finished vacuuming. <laughs> Yep. Now that's just bad play. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure he's happy. Putting on your makeup while you're driving. Yes, yeah. You it's... gotta be care be careful with that for real because especially eye makeup. You just never know. Yeah. You just never know. You never know. You're, you're gonna have to hit the brakes. You're gonna hit the brakes or someone's gonna nick you. Oh my gosh. I I had <laughs> you know, especially if you're the morning commute. If you have long stretches of road where you don't have to like stop go traffic and you just kind of like you're not even 100 percent awake yet your brain just kind of eh, you're listening to music and you're kind of trailing off a truck passed me this was this was a few years ago now i was on my way to work i'm still really early in the morning it was dark and a big truck blew past me and hit me with a rock and it smashed into the windshield and it was sounded like a bomb going off or a gunshot or a giant firecracker next to my ear it scared me so badly i'm amazed i didn't drive right off the road and it was dark so i was like you know <laughs> saying a bunch of things that aren't appropriate for mm -hmm. YouTube. And, I, and i mean it took me quite a while to get my blood to come down and to get the pounding out of my ears and just to get my, my heart rate to relax and oh finally i was literally driving into the parking lot at work when i realized there was a hole in my windshield that didn't make it through to the windshields have kind of like two pieces to the glass, I guess it had smashed through the first set part piece and not thank goodness to the second piece. It, it would have, it would have gotten me and it was a big hole, perfectly round hole. And it was just a hole in the windshield. It was, I, I had a, I had an anxiety attack all over again because I thought, Oh my gosh. And then, and then I'm thinking, I, I touched the windows like that didn't come through. It didn't come through. Oh, I was so mad. I was so upset. Do you remember I called yeah, you? Yeah, that <laughs> shook you up for like a week. I was losing my mind. Yeah, it was a it was a huge Oh, it was such a big hole. hole but thankfully it didn't go through. Really, really lucky. Uh, so I'm glad I wasn't like eating or doing makeup or something like that. Well, that happened. I'm glad you didn't like veer off the road because you got started. I'm one of those people that 10 and 2 all the time. I'm, I'm an old guy. I, I drive like a grandma, right? Um, 10 and 2. 
I don't take both hands off the wheel. <laughs> Thank goodness I didn't. <laughs> they would have wound up in a ditch. <laughs> Trimming your bangs before getting your driver's license picture. <laughs> Or getting your driver's license picture and then trimming your bag. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just anything that anything to try not to look like a mugshot. Yes, yes. Very difficult on the license. <laughs> we all look terrible on our license. We, we either photos. look half asleep or terrified. You I swear, I think the people behind the camera are waiting for you to like you know, close one eye or <laughs> you know, like they, they wait for the wind to blow your hair out of place. You always look terrible in that license shot every single time. <laughs> It's never flattering. Your yours looks so much like a mud shot, like you just got <laughs> picked so up true. from jail. It's so funny. And I keep going, is it, is it time to read my photo? Can I read my photo? And they're like, oh, no, you're How good. And I'm like, no, really, can I read <laughs> And I'm always embarrassed. Next time I go, I'm going to wear the striped suit. You know that, you know the, the joke, yes. like I'm in jail? Yes, 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 yes. Just walk in and say, well, I came prepared this time. <laughs> With like a big number. Yeah. How's that for putting two things together? <laughs> Wearing and, a costume and putting to the DMV <laughs> and putting deodorant on. At That's the same two time. weird things. Hey, I'm going to a costume party later. I had to. What about what lessons. about what about shopping for groceries and clipping your toenails? That's gross. That's that's. It's also strange. <laughs> hey, I'm still answering Sakura's question. <laughs> I think that's 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 definitely weird. It's going a little too far. It's going, that's just gross. Please don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Can you imagine? Oh. <laughs> you would definitely I mean, you definitely clear the aisles. Well, I'm, I'm picturing like, how do you do that? Are you like bracing your? Foot, your bare well, foot you're, you're, up on the grocery cart. Yeah, you're you're leaning on the cart. You're using one foot to hop along, leaning <laughs> on the cart. And while you're doing that and selecting your, you know, your rice and your canned soup, you're also clipping away. <laughs> okay, we're, we're no. stopping that one right there. <laughs> Too much, eh? <laughs> Ew! I don't like the visuals that go along with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Coming along, coming along. <laughs> Everyone's making me laugh. Okay, here's one from Sienna. Sienna says, I've seen someone doing yoga in a shopping trolley. <laughs> yeah, that's strange. That's strange. <laughs> were they, were they, were they, were they just maybe stuck and trying to calm themselves down. <laughs> Cheryl says, just as long as you're not in the produce section. Yes, agreed. <laughs> <laughs> Can we see your blanket? Yes, 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 yes. So far, working on the first row of the border. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Looking good. It's... About 24 and a half by 28 so far, but that's before blocking and, and putting on a border. So, ah, oh, I love it. I think this is coming along nicely. All right. Let's do one more question and then we will wrap it up for the evening. Okay. We need to make some supper. So, ah, supper. That's the thing we, we, we sushi and, fro and fried sushi ice cream. Sushi and french fries. I'm, oh, oh and fried ice sushi cream. and french fries. That sounds good. With wasabi. Would ice cream and wasabi be weird together? Hmm. I bet you there's a recipe for in, in Asia for something like that. <laughs> Don't they like to do... Um, something tells me that wouldn't be weird. Salt, uh, sweet and sour. Yeah, sweet and stuff. sour, yeah. salty, or like sweet and hot, you know. Mm -hmm. Yum. Okay. <clears throat> Someone will let us know in the chat <laughs> or in the comments. This is a great one to end on. Okay, okay. last question of the evening. And this 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 might have some, some pretty stories attached to it. What's the longest walk you've ever taken? Kind of almost romantic in a way. The longest walk you've ever taken. And I'm thinking, you know, your 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 standard long walk on the beach, maybe a, a long walk through the woods. Maybe uh what is your longest what's the walk longest you've walk ever you've ever taken? You know those you know those days where you think I'm just gonna go for a walk and then you just keep going. <laughs> what's the longest walk? And I guess you know what I've had some really long walks, but usually there's a 
purpose. Well, there's see, there's there's a lot of different metrics. Are you talking about just I'm going to go for a stroll and then you just stay out walking? Well, I'm thinking like you know, like qualify a walk. Like a walk isn't just necessarily like out for a walk around the block. A walk could be a hike. A walk could be if you go to the mall and you're mall crawling all day. I mean, technically that's a walk. So you know, that's that's like if you're really if you're really mall crawling, that could be like five hours of walking. That's a long walk, even though you're just sort of like you know. Longest walk. I think anybody out there ever climbed a mountain? I because I think you can take a, That's a long take walk. a pathway up a mountain. That's a long walk. It's hmm. the longest walk. The longest walk. The longest walk. Diana says 10k. That's long. That's long. 12k. Yeah, I mean, some people have probably run marathons. Yeah, Those 10k. Are long. Yeah, 10 keys. That's a long that's walk. Long. 18 miles. Wow. wow. That's long. And I mean, you know, how do you how, how do you remember the distance? Like, is it because you knew that you were going from this section to that section? Because I, I wouldn't I wouldn't be thinking about the kilometers I'm traveling while I'm walking. Well, see, this is the thing. Do you know what I mean? If you're really enjoying yourself, you may not realize how long you've been walking. If you're tired, mm, you've got point. on bad shoes. Yeah, you'll definitely know. Whoa, how long here's you've been a big walking. one: twenty six miles. Wow, that isn't twenty six miles a marathon. Help I me out, know. guys. I don't know what. Uh, how many miles is a marathon? Our <laughs> marathons I've never like run one. you know various. Well, there's lengths. there's a full marathon, which is based on the Greek story, right? And then there's the half marathon. I think there's a quarter marathon. Those things are all, I think, specific specific distances a lot of people around um around 10 and 12 10 and 12 mm -hmm. 12 miles up to a snow peak oh. so beautiful in oh. the forest Ooh. that sounds wonderful that's nice Twenty thousand steps at an amusement park <laughs> did you have your um your little fitbit, your fitbit. watch thing yeah that would tell you yeah that's a long walk that counts <laughs> i think I'm trying to think the longest walk I've ever taken. I've walked between towns before. I've done that, which is really saying something in Canada. <laughs> the towns are not close together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think that's probably the longest walk I've ever done, walking from one town to the next town. <laughs> hmm. On a bicycle, I've done 40K. Whoa. Yeah, that's a lot. That's uh, semi walking. Well, you're, I mean, you're pretending to walk. I was gonna say, like, if, if we're gonna start talking like any kind of bi bipedal motion, I have I have cross country skied like 30k in a morning. Whoa, ultra an ultra marathon is a hundred miles. That's are those the ones where the where the um, people participating are like wobbling at the end? Just a regular marathon. They come just, wobbling they over the come end. wobbling and they need to be like held up and stuff. Oh my gosh. An ultra marathon. 100 miles. My goodness. How long did a rod? So that's. I don't even know that. Yeah, did a rod. Yeah. It's the, it's the dog, the dog sled. Race. Oh, the dog sled racing. Is that what they call it? Yeah. Isn't that the coolest name? I did a rod. Uh, anybody know how long that is? Because I think that's like three days. That's a long race. Oh, wow. Now. Yeah, I think I saw a movie about that. With the little husky dogs and stuff. Little husky dogs. I just want to yeah, those, those go for days, don't yes, they? Yes, I think they do. I think they do. I think it's three days, I think. You have to like camp and stuff. Anybody, any big Iditarod fans in the, in the, <laughs> there? Yeah, I think you you stay overnight. Well, it's a race, so some people kind of go late, but you've got to rest the dogs, and of course you yourself have to rest. Mm. So, yeah, those are, extreme races are fascinating. They are like the ultimate test of one's mm. will and stamina. They're amazing. That's in Alaska. That yeah. race that yeah. makes sense. Wraith says there's an animated film about it called Balto. Balto. I think there's also a like a live there's a documentary uh, uh, oh, there's, I think. yeah i'm pretty sure i saw either a documentary or a film there's um, a, a woman action. i can't think of her name who i think won it like three years in a row or something yeah and i can't remember her oh, name. i know i saw it i just can't remember the title we will have to look it up later yeah that's our little i remember movie. really liking it yeah because yeah. there was a lot of um scenes with the dogs like the those little dogs because they're really cute. they're so cute i love how they kind of wrap up 
put their tail over their yeah, and, and then the and snow blows over them, and they're just snoo little the snow. mini igloo. <laughs> so cute, so cute. 1049 dog sled. Is that the name of it? Whoa, Teresa says it's roughly 1,100 miles. Is that true? Because that's crazy. It's like half the Chris, distance across. Kristen Canada. says <laughs> the movie is called Iron Will. Yes, that yes. That sounds familiar. Yes, thank you, Iron Will. <laughs> How's Subnautica going? Um, I haven't played in a little while because I got distracted right with other games. Iron Will. But... Um, I really enjoy that game. Did you did you try downloading again this afternoon? Did I you tried downloading my little mountain game this morning, and it's still, still not working. Yeah, I, it's not going to work until Nintendo updates it. But I'm really excited. I got my pre-order for Mario Yay. Golf today. <laughs> so hopefully Nintendo fixes the download. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to be frustrated. I'm going to be so upset. Well. <clears throat> I think we'll call it a Friday night. We're yeah. starting to lose our light. It's getting a little, a little starting dark. Starting to get here. dark. Yeah. But uh, we have to go make some supper. So, everyone, thank you so much for hanging out with us. For those of you who were able to come back and catch number two. Oh, thank there's you. another one. Eight below. <laughs> eight below. That's the one I remember. You're thinking too. of eight below. Yeah. Write, that write down. down eight below. Eight below. And the other one was um, Iron Will. I wrote Iron down. Will. Yeah. And ba Balo? Ba ba Balto. 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 I, I, rem I think Balto. I remember that. I wrote them all up. That one's a uh, animated. Sounds good to me. I <laughs> think we shall have a bowl of soup for dinner. We will maybe Sounds watch some me. wavy boats. Ooh, wavy boats. And I'm going to make uh, a decaffeinated iced coffee. That sounds good. It's going to be my little treat. This okay. Evening. Mm -hmm. All right. It's warming up. The wind is calming down. It was a good Friday. Snow dogs. Not another one. Snow dogs. That sounds familiar too. All right, that we'll one's to up because I don't a... remember. Snow dogs. So cute. I know I've seen at least two, but one might have been a documentary. Yes. Thanks, guys. Uh, thank Great you so smoothing. much. Mm -hmm. Gonna look those up. Um, thanks for joining us today. Yeah, for real. All this day. Time. Have an awesome weekend. <laughs> stay safe. Stay crafty. Stay, stay, stay. I'm always looking for the right word. It's like awesome. I, stay well, clearly. I mean, I don't think you guys have any trouble staying awesome. But uh, yeah, stay, stay. Yes, cool, man. I, I, I'm really, I'm really kind of, I'm excited about this weekend because I, I got the, I got back into sewing. I did a little bit of sewing this weekend, and I'm really hoping to kind of like break into a dress. I really want to make myself a new dress this weekend, and uh, I love, I love sewing in June. It just feels so. I don't know, like like my own little mini summer vacation or something. <laughs> yes, mini summer vacations all around this weekend. Good food, good laughs. Laughs, that's it. Yes. I want to say make sure you have a, a nice equal, stay safe, stay equal crafty balance and stay of craftiness, peace, and humor. Some really good belly laughs. Humor, yeah, you gotta watch gotta watch some some good funny movies or something. Yeah. Yes. Wonderful. Guys, all thank right. you so much. Um, take care. Have a great weekend. And we will see you. Next Friday, if not before, because you never know. <laughs> <laughs> you never Fingers know. crossed this one works. <laughs> All right. Have a great weekend, everyone. Bye, guys.